What's up YouTube and uh, the YTBC community? I um, wanted to discuss uh, my thoughts, uh, the aftermath of the Wade Triple G fight from this past uh, Saturday. Um, give you my thoughts. I uh, thought it was a fun fight, an engaging fight. I enjoyed it for as long as it lasted. Um, I did not like that Triple G stuck his chin out again in the second round and allowed this guy to tag him, similar to how Monroe tagged him. Um, I don't know, for drama show purposes or whatever it is, but he needs to stop that shit. I said that before and I'll say it again. Triple G, stop fucking around. I don't care if you don't respect the opponent's power. You didn't do that shit against Lemieux because you respected Lemieux's pop. You knew he could crack and you fought smart and diligently. But against Monroe and again against Wade, you just, I mean, you let the guy tag you four times in succession. Don't do that shit, man. Stop it, okay? I don't know if he's trying to lure in people. Obviously, the result of your fight is not luring in potential opponents. It's pushing them away out of fear. So, I enjoyed the fight. Um, where does Triple G go from here? It doesn't seem like the, the landscape is uh, really, really looking good for him, you know? Like kind of restricting and constricting on him whereas he's running out of options you know I mean he I think he'll pull off the the Billy Joe Saunders fight I think that'll happen soon um, I'm not really counting on the Canelo fight because uh, I don't trust Oscar De La Hoya to put Canelo in there with him I don't care there's a big difference between Austin Trout and Laura compared to Triple G okay uh, those guys don't knock anybody out of that are relevant um, so the risk factor you know when you got you got judges in the back pocket like Oscar does you don't really have to fade it, fade it or worry about it but Triple G is gonna knock him out you know what I mean and he won't be the same fighter I mean yeah having Triple G on your resume is help fighters like it's help uh, Gil get that Dakota fight it's helped Monroe a little bit uh, Murray Macklin uh, all these guys it's a good thing to have Triple G on your resume shows that you get in there with the best but I don't think Oscar's gonna risk it I don't think he's gonna put uh, his golden uh, goose like they like to call Canelo in with Triple G so I don't have a lot of confidence in the WBC either. They've already lied to us once. Uh, after the Lemieux fight uh, and the Cotto fight, we were supposed to have negotiations. That got put off, even knowing Triple G was supposedly calling the shots. Mandatory, number one contender. Uh, it fell through, you know what I mean? Um, and now, supposedly, they have 15 days after the Khan Canelo fight. And I don't know. I, I can't really see him stripping them, but... If they, if they don't strip him, I have no respect for him because uh, I really, I would say there's an 80% chance that Canelo doesn't take the fight. So where does Triple G go from here? We know he wants to unify 160. Props to him. It's good for his legacy. It puts a stamp on his career of uh, legitimacy. And I would like to see him unify too because it's so rare in boxing these days. With four sanctioning bodies, major sanctioning bodies, you just don't see it anymore because each sanctioning body, they won't rank the other sanctioning body's champion. So it is, it, it is crazy with all the, you know, competitiveness and with the various promoters to get a unified champion. But I'd like to see him pull it off He's got two more belts to get to be recognized as the guy, even though most fans will say he is the guy at 160, and I'm one of those fans. I would like to see him go up to 168, but what's his strategy? Is he going to move up to 168 and stay there when he does make the jump, or is he going to play it by ear and only take the big fights? I would say if his plan is he's going to fight at 168 and you know out of the, his next five fights will he fight three of those five at 168 then I would say he should get in there with like Bondu Jock knock his ass out because Bondu Jock got knocked out cold 
I forget who his opponent it was, but his opponent is no near as good as Triple G, and I really think Triple G knocks him out cold. Uh, don't really see any threat at 168 other than James DeGale. I, I think everybody's in agreement that James DeGale is the standard, is, is the top dog at 168. And if Triple G is uncertain about if he's going to be, you know, fighting in the 168 division, if he's going to be in the 160 uh, division, where he's going to stay for the majority going forward, I would say Triple G, go up, fight the gal, fight him in, in UK, and beat the man. That will silence all the critics, you know. It'll be a, a great scalp on his uh, uh, resume and... And then I think a lot of people stop whining and complain. Of course, you know, the same haters are going to say, well, he's got to fight Andre Ward. But Andre Ward is supposed to be fighting Kovla. Now, if that goes through, that's great. And I think Kovla will eat Ward up and will retire him. I really do. I think it. I, Kovla is a sick motherfucker. He's killed a guy in the ring, and he likes to torture him like he did against Pascal. That dude was torturing Pascal. He wasn't knocking out, uh, going in there just to get rid of Pascal. He was trying to torture the guy. And I can see him doing the same thing. I don't think he likes Ward at all. And I I still don't think Ward takes the fight. I think he'll come up with some excuse. I've made jokes before, but I really, yeah, I'm, in my heart, I, I don't think he takes the fight. Uh, it's too high risk of not just losing, but getting your ass beat and damaged health-wise. Uh, so then Triple G fights him, he won't get the 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 respect of beating Ward because they'll say, oh, he's damaged goods, he was not the same fighter, yada, yada, yada. I really wanted the Ward fight, just like I want the DeGal fight, because I, I, I think Triple G beats him. I do. I don't care how skilled they are and stuff. I, I <laughs> When you say, oh, they're so skilled, you're ignoring the fact that Triple G is skilled too. His footwork is amazing. His spacing is amazing. Uh, his angles are amazing. Uh, the energy he unleashes on his punches, the tempo of his punches, the, the way he throws, he's always in control, and he doesn't throw himself out, and he doesn't wing a lot of punches. Like, they're very accurate, and most devastating stomach puncher out there. So... Uh, Ward, I kind of wish he didn't make the jump. I'm not going to, you know, dog the man saying he, he should have stayed at 168 because maybe maybe he can't anymore, you know. Only Ward knows that and his trainer. So that's unfortunate because I still want to see that fight, but if Kovalov gets Ward first, then it'll take a lot of steam off Triple G beating him. And I'd really like to see him take, uh, Triple G take on uh, DeGale because I think... Uh, the way Butte looked against DeGale in their last fight, DeGale was struggling. You know what I mean? He was losing rounds against Butte. Now, Butte didn't look so good. So I was coming in the fight like, oh, man, DeGale is just going to run right through uh, Butte because the way he looked against uh, Gene Pascal when he moved up. But I think he was afraid of the power at 175, and it showed throughout the fight, the first 11 rounds, until in the 12th round, Butte's like, fuck this. I'm, uh, I'm going for it. And, uh, I mean, I, I made it to the 12th, uh, and whatever, we'll, we'll just, you know, throw the chips where they may lay, and he looked good in that last round, but that's the only round that he really threw. But he looked great against DeGale, so he's comfortable at 168, looked great, it was a great fight, uh, it was a letdown for DeGale fans, but everybody is pretty much in agreement, DeGale is the standard at 168, so Triple G, if you... You want to shut up all these guys that say you ain't got nobody on your resume and you can't force people to fight you. DeGale seems like he's willing to fight you and throw caution to the wind. Take the fight. Go over to the UK and fight him. And the other, th and the last thing I want to talk about with Trip G, please do not fall into that superstar uh, doldrum of only fighting twice a year. I hope you don't do that. Uh, you can definitely get more fights in, especially when you're involved in two rounders like you were against Rubio. And as recently, Wade, uh, schedule more fights. Tom Lawford, get on the phone. Hopefully, he gets a Billy Joe Saunders fight fast. Uh, get, get some, just stay busy because people love to watch you fight. I get so amped up, so excited uh, on the night of your fights. It's unbelievable. You're, you're, 
most entertaining box out there and you're a cool guy and I'm, I'm happy that you got the Jordan brand uh, endorsement to go along with Apple and everything. You're definitely uh, crossing uh, platforms and reaching a huge audience which is great because uh, your fighting is unmatched. You're, 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 it is a big drama show as you like to call it but you're honorable, you're respectful and, and, and you respect the, the, the sport of boxing and that, I think that's why he's always talking about Mayweather because Mayweather does drop his name a lot uh, just for that awe factor and I don't think Triple G likes it because I don't think Triple G respects Mayweather because he tries to win on points and never goes for the kill like when he had Berto hurt you got to finish him off Mayweather you know what I mean and I think that just rubs Triple G the wrong way because uh, he likes to be in fights and when you're in fights you should be wanting to knock the other guy out you know this this you could call it an art form but ultimately it's a violent sport and I mean it's like MMA I don't watch MMA UFC on yet I don't have the time and boxing is where I choose to uh, be an audience but those guys ain't going in there trying to win on points see the difference it's kind of the same mentality because they're violent sports you know they're on the same plane so I think that just rums Triple G the wrong way and the fact that Mayweather drops his name all the time and calls him easy work and all this. Uh, so I get why Triple G wants to do boxing fans a service and beat his ass because he, he would beat Mayweather's ass. I don't care. If Mayweather can't run and get away from an injured Pacquiao, Cotto, uh, they say he's never been down. Bullshit, he's been down. Uh, what's his name? Uh, dude from Brooklyn, uh, uh, what the hell is his name, that bald dude, man, I'm drawing a brain fart, I'm tired, I'm, it's, I'm on my own after work, but, uh, damn, I can't think of his name, but anyway, uh, he put Mayweather down, Mayweather's glove touched the, the canvas, but they, they didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't call a knockdown, but that was bullshit, but anyway, uh, damn, I can't think of his name, I mean, I know, I, I can see his face, but I just, I, yeah, they're busy. But anyway, he lost, the guy lost bad to Khan on a body punch. But anyway, uh, I think Triple G is running out of options. Um, I think he's got at least four more years. Uh, I don't think he has a lot of trend on his tires. He's got a huge amateur career, but he definitely doesn't have as many rounds as most fighters his age at the pro level. And uh, I think he's gonna be dominant for a long time. I think ultimately, he will end at 175. Um, the dream fights Kovala, um, and it's no disrespect to the Gal, the 168 division, or Canelo and the 160. I just think Triple G is too, too good, too powerful, too, too, too. He's just, he's just too. His boxing IQ is off the chain, and I think that. I, I think the thing that he's got going for him is there's nobody out there that's willing to throw. Uh, and go for it because they know if they throw they're getting tagged too and everybody's been in there with it. he's fucked them up I mean Triple G fucks you up and he is a guy that could seriously cause you permanent damage you know what I mean and that go that go through all their head and you can't tell me they're not scared and of course there, there's always somebody that can beat you but I just don't see it at this time and I, it's still going to be another two years till we get some hot shot coming through the ranks that might pose a threat to him but we'll see um i just want to say thanks for watching my video i hope uh you're as big of a triple g fan as i am uh i love the sport of boxing there's a lot of fighters i like uh but i think triple g is the cream de crop and even though i think the best resume in boxing of active fighters because i don't count pacquiao is active because uh, i'm taking for his word that he's retired the best resume out there right now is by far uh, Kovala. Um, as a champion, uh, as a current champion, I think he's got he's established himself as the the best P I, pound for pound. He is the best, and I don't think anybody can beat him. At least for the next, I don't see anybody beating him for at least the next three years, and then in the fourth year which I still think he'll be strong and 
doing looking good and everything is where he'll really truly be tested and again that'll probably be at 175 I just don't I don't see it at 168 and 160 and I don't see Canal getting in the ring with him and if he it's kind of a lose-lose well it's not a kind of it is a lose-lose situation Canelo doesn't fight him fucking tarnishes his career he's a chump if he does fight him he's gonna get his ass kicked and they'll call him a chump so he's kind of a basically in a maze and he thought he had the map to get out of any you know dead end but I think he made the wrong turn and he's definitely running into a dead end because he can't beat Triple G and he'll even look worse if he drops the lineal WBC belt so tell me what you guys think um, I'd like to do more videos been kind of busy been watching all the fights so and uh it's just heating up, you know. Uh, we got a lot of fights coming on, being announced, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye.